our guests right here are actually from this awesome band called Boy. And so this is Melody and this is Steel. Very, very cool band. And I want you to first tell me the story behind the name because there's like a silent S and it's a super fancy <laughs> spelling, <Yes>. right? <laughs> so the band is actually spelled B-O-I-I-S. Um, when we were coming up with the concept of the name, we, uh, the transgender community was really highlighted in the news and we felt that they were very underrepresented and um, our music really wants to instill into everyone that they should be themselves and they should value themselves and each other and love each other, everyone's equal and they should really feel liberated to be who they are. So that's kind of where um, the name came from. So the silent S is kind of nothing is really what it seems. You know, someone can appear to be a boy or a girl, someone can appear to be gay or straight, but really we're all the same and we're all equal. So that's why we put the silent S in there because it's kind of a mysterious nothing is what it seems kind of feel. So. Very significant. Yeah. Brilliant name. I love, love the messaging behind it. I love that you guys are expressing that through your music and being able to pass the message on. And I'm sure that that's already apparent in your listeners and the kind of people that are supporting you. That's really, really cool. Thank you. So how long have you guys been playing together for and how did you kind of bring yourselves together as well? <clears throat> We've been playing together for about two and a half years. So just kind of building the songs and working together and collaborating. And actually, Steel and Jimmy were the first uh, two guys in the band. Okay. And then um, they sort of were working together, and Steel and I were best friends. So he would come to me and ask, you know, what do you think about this lyric? What do you think about the band name? And we were collaborating together so much that at some point he just said, we were together in his, <laughs> in his house, and he said, what do you think about being in the band? I said, OK. <laughs> sort of 80s. I'm like, you want to be in our band? <laughs> <laughs> it's very I, 80s, like high school. Like someone yeah. drops in one day, and they just happen to be working. Exactly. That's yeah. really, really awesome. That's yeah. very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> it started out as a hobby and then it just became something bigger and, and something more important to us. Oh, very, very cool. So you guys talk about it's kind of like an 80s band get together. You also have 80s influences that come through in your music, right? So yes. tell, tell people watching like what the genre is mm -hmm. and what they can expect. So uh, we really consider our music new wave pop. Um, it's heavily inspired by the 80s new wave era, Depeche Mode, Human League, NXS, Tears for Fears. Um, for some reason we were listening to them a lot and they were really speaking to us um, when we were writing the album and it's not like we were like we're gonna write a song like Depeche Mode it was more like they subtly came into our music somehow and that's um, it was it was very organic and real and um, we really feel like that's un underrepresented in music today uh, that beautiful melodic edge um, of those several years in the 80s that kind of have gone missing. So we wanted to kind of bring that back. We wanted it to be fun and dancey and kind of take mm -hmm. you to another place. And yeah. so we felt like it was kind of 80s, but with a whole new edge. Absolutely. Yeah. That's some enormous talent that you're channeling through in your music. <laughs> and I think it's something that a lot of people miss mm -hmm. about music today is that those influences just aren't there as much anymore. That's yes. really, really cool. So you guys have uh, a lot of videos, but there's one lately that you guys have been communicating about, and that's Hot Damn. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it right. Um, so, what kind of things did you explore in that video? Um, so, the song is really all about heat, honestly. <laughs> um, anything related to heat um, and uh, comparing that to a relationship. And so, our, we take our videos just as seriously as our music. So as much time as we spend recording a song, we spend that much time uh, creating the treatment for our music videos because we really, we're very visual artists. Both of our brains are just very visual. So we want people to really feel the music. Even if they don't have the music on, they, we want them to look at that video and say, wow, that's, that's beautifully shot. So um, we've been working with a local um, company called Fourth House Collective. Um, they're a creative company and they've been filming and editing and they're fantastic. Um, and they're, we've just been kind of creating these ideas with them and we're about to work on our next single as well. Um, 
uh, Walk of Fame for the video for that. That's so, really exciting. Yeah. And there's nothing better than a tight coupling of a really good song with a really good video. So it's wonderful that you guys are paying attention to that. <laughs> Very cool. So you guys are local. You're using local companies to help produce your stuff. You've also been performing locally, right? Mm -hmm. So there's two places that you particularly that particularly resonated with you recently, right? Yes. So, yeah. So we performed at Brooklyn Bowl, which was really awesome. It was mm -hmm. at the Zappos vendor party. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I first went to Brooklyn Bowl, I said, we have to perform here, and then it came to fruition so much quicker than I ever thought possible. It, it, it kind of makes so much sense, because for those that don't know, the Zappos vendor party was 80s themed, and so that's perfect yeah. for you guys, right? Definitely. We kind of kicked off the night, and it was uh, Slick Rick and Biz Marquis, so who were performing the main acts, and it was just really cool. We actually did top that, the 80s rap from nice. Teen Witch, so it was, we literally <laughs> learned awesome. that song in like six hours and then performed it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Kudos. <laughs> yeah. and, and so I hear you also performed at the Inspire Theater, right? So tell me about that. Yeah, the Inspire Theater is actually our um, uh, album release party, and so it was an awesome venue. It was That's perfect really for cool. the album release, and mm -hmm. the album is called Explicit Youth, and it just um, hit on iTunes on July 14th, so Congrats. it's out now. It's actually on Spotify, so check it out. <laughs> and the Inspire Theater is such an intimate environment, so I bet that was just like like heaven for you guys when you're releasing something that you're proud of, right? Yeah, it's Very definitely cool. another place. I actually went there on New Year's Eve. They had a Zappos New Year's Eve party, and it said, <laughs> I want to perform there, and then we did so. <laughs> Wait, it is true, is just dreams come all true, the <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Who would have okay. thought? But yeah, so performing there, there's a, it's a very boutique theater, but they also have mm -hmm. Wayfarer Bar, which is this awesome 1920s yes. themed bar. It's yes. so beautiful if you haven't been there definitely check it out and then we we're able to do sort of the after party on the rooftop so it was really beautiful cool. and amazing yeah. yeah cool yeah. so you guys are going to be performing at a super important event in Vegas coming up right in September yes yes next Tell me about weekend that. Uh, we are performing at the pride festival fantastic um, 5 p.m. sharp at <laughs> the Clark County Amphitheater um, don't be late, September guys. 6th. Really super important. <laughs> yeah, don't be yes, late. Don't be late. They're, they're getting <laughs> the night All of our fans are late. <laughs> <laughs> All of our fans. No. Um, no, we're really super excited to uh, perform for this crowd. Uh, I've heard it's a, a great turnout, and it's a wonderful event for such a great cause. So um, if you guys are free next Saturday, come on out. It'll be fun. September we actually 6th. performed at the last Pride event. Oh, that was fantastic. the first time performing for us live. And so it's the, it'll be our one year anniversary. So it's really special for us. I can't think of a better band to be playing at something like the Pride Festival. Like yeah. the message and everything is fantastic. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah. And thank you so much for being such an important part of our community as well. Yes, thank you so thank much. You. <laughs> well, um, definitely check out Boy. Again, that's B-O-I-I-S and it's B-O-I-I-S smusic.com, right? Yes, to correct. check your stuff out. Awesome. Yes. Please give a huge round of applause to Melody and Steel from Boy. Yeah. <laughs>